Uh, Abby's ex-boyfriend had a couple of priors. No sexual assaults, but a history of violence. So even if he cops a plea, he should be going away for quite a while. Yeah, I gotta say that you were uh, right to call it in. Look, I know why you didn't want to want me to do that, but it's gonna work out in Michael's favor. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was the right thing to do. It's pretty messed up about that attack. Balkan's gonna grab Brenda at the wedding. How do you know that? Siobhan told me. I'm doing what you told me. Nothing more. I have my doubts. You can't doubt my sister. Does Lucky know? Of course not. You warned me not to tell a soul. I'm not taking chances with Megan's life. Wise girl. Don't disappoint me. Is she still there? Yeah. You know what to do. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Aren't you Siobhan McKenna? Maybe. Why? A mutual friend thinks we should talk. Dr. Rodriguez called pediatrics. Dr. Lucia Rodriguez called pediatrics. Hey. Dave. How you feeling? Not bad. It's just bruises, mostly, you know. Including a couple on my ribs, so don't you make me laugh. I saw the breakfast cart driving by. Is, is it edible? I can get you some from the cafeteria, if not. Oh, you're always so thoughtful. It's just you want, like, coffee or tea or anything. All I want is your company. Uh, so... <clears throat> you doing okay? Better than yesterday. Uh, look, Abby, I, um... I don't want to push you into anything, but, uh... Look, if Brandon... Uh, if he hurt you... You mean raped me? If he did, it's okay to tell me about it. acting nervous and on edge. I keep catching her on these phone calls that leave her rattled. Uh, did you confront her? Of course, but she kept denying. So finally I set a trap. She wanted to know where Sonny and Brenda's wedding was going to be, so I told her it was going to be at St. Timothy's. I found her at the church alone, taking pictures. I'm sorry. Lucky it's got to be tough to find out that she's working for the Balkan. No, it's not what it looks like, though. Her sister Megan has been kidnapped by the Balkans. She's a hostage to force Siobhan to cooperate. Well, do you have any proof of this? Yeah, I got a, a photo of her sister tied up. Picture, lucky that could be staged easily. Yeah, well, it's not. And look, now that we know the truth, we can turn the tables and finally catch this bastard. Or she's working you and you're playing right into her hands. I'm a security consultant for Theo Hoffman. I work in a wrongful death suit against Dante Falconary and Brenda Barrett. What does that have to do with me? And Mr. Hoffman asked me to look into the death of Anton Banovic, the man Miss Barrett shot and killed. He wants proof that Banovic was sent to grab Miss Barrett. Well, best of luck to you. I'm not really sure where I come in. You were held by the Balkans' men for two days so he can barter a trade for Miss Barrett. It's true, but I... 
met the men. Huh. Well, tell me everything you remember about those two days. You may know more than you think. Hey! Oh, it's good to see you. What's going on? Why do you call me? Well, I just got in last night. So? What's going on with everything? How's ASAC? Busy, as always. Uh-huh. So, sit down. Tell me everything. Well, I spent the last week in Africa. Right, Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. Addis Ababa and uh, the countryside. Right. <laughs> Where else? Um... Somalia. That was near the town where you lost the baby. Yeah, I know. I know you don't have to walk on eggshells anymore. We can talk about the baby. Brenda, I was with you in Africa when you woke up from that fever and found out you miscarried. I, you were devastated. You told me never to mention it again. Well, I just... Um... I didn't feel, you know, strong enough to deal with it, but <clears throat> I am now. Good morning, sunshine. And so it begins. The little smiles, the chit-chat, and the next thing you know, I am surrounded by a whole lot of drama, like a bunch of hormonal teenagers. Am I missing something? Someone left this here for you. Now, in the future, I suggest that you keep your private life out from behind this desk. Dr. Garrett. <laughs> What's this? It's a thank you from Robin for finding our handyman. The right tool for the right man. Bottle opener on a keychain. Cute. <laughs> Robin could have been really angry about me messing up a garage door opener, but she saw the humor. Yep, Robin's um, just a big old barrel of laughs. So, what's next on your agenda? I think I'm gonna invite her to dinner on Valentine's Day. Ooh. You know, I'm all for an aggressive pursuit, but don't you think that's a little obvious? Watch you learn, darling. Perfect timing. Get your tiger. <clears throat> Thanks for the gift. Oh. I, uh... I'll put it to good use next time we're at Jake's. You are on. And uh, speaking of nights out, I, I was wondering... Hey, Robin, when you uh, have a second, I want to talk to you about Emma. What about her? Uh, it's nothing crazy. I just I have tentative Valentine's Day plans with her, so... Well, so do I. <laughs> um, do you mind if we finish this later? Sure. What's up? Well, I was thinking... <clears throat> So... Patrick distracted her with the daddy card. But don't worry, I'm on it. Well, the competition's stiff. You might want to dial up the charm. Why don't you help me practice? First things first, you need to seduce Robin, remember? How could I forget? Look, when you're attacked, it's hard to use the word raped. You think if you talk about it, it'll hurt even more, and shutting up will somehow it'll make it go away. So you don't have to deal with the guilt or the blame. Because a part of you thinks that it's your fault. That if you would have fought harder or done something different, it wouldn't happen. But keeping quiet about it, it doesn't help. It just bottles up inside of you, eating away at you. I mean, you know what that feels like? I told you that stuff happened to me in prison. I just didn't... I didn't tell you what it was. But there was this inmate. Carter, and, uh... He raped me. Michael. Don't, 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 don't say that you're sorry, okay? I... I'm just telling you this to help you, okay? So if you if you were raped, Abby, you can tell me. I wasn't. I promise. Brandon would have raped, maybe even killed me if you hadn't been there. You saved me.
Uh, put Spinelli on it, if you want. Her sister's name is Megan McKenna. I already looked into it. She's been missing for weeks. Any chance you just believe in what you want to believe? I'm believing what the evidence tells me. Lucky, look, you're close to exposing this girl. Any chance like she's telling you what she thinks she might want to hear? Why are you doing this? I think you're too close. I don't think you can be objective. It's about Abby. I'll just I'll tell him. No, 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 no. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take care of this. So, just how do you plan to take care of this? The guard who held me hostage wasn't exactly chatty. Did he speak to anyone, make any calls? I, I didn't learn a thing. Except how the blood gets cut off when your hands and feet are bound to a chair. I'm a veteran. I know something about being held captive. Look, I, I gave a statement to the police. It's on record. You can look it up. I'm late for work. My manager, he isn't very understanding. There's something you're not saying. You have no right to harass me like this. Do you have rights? Are you a legal citizen of this country, Miss McKenna? A little cooperation could go a long way. Sean! Oh my gosh, how are you? Good, Molly. How about you? Oh, better, thanks. We're not done, Miss McKenna. Um, is this a bad time? No, not at all. Good. I'm glad we ran into each other. I would really like to talk more about our post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> I'm in therapy and it's already helping. How about you? Any problems? Um, not lately. So PTSD doesn't affect your job? If you don't mind my asking. Nah, you're easy to talk to. Uh, my job's been fine. My boss keeps me busy and that happens. 